This is Marciano Stadium, home of your Brockton Boxers. Tonight, we got a real barn burner, a playoff rematch between the Shamrocks of Bishop B.N. High School and the Boxers of Brockton High School. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson for BCA Sports. A lovely evening here on September 10th at Marciano Stadium. It's going to be a good game. Bishop Fian coming out on top of that playoff matchup at the end of last year. And uh, Brockton looking to come back with a vengeance here. Brockton has their core of starters back of Yasmini Texera, Narita Montrand, and of course, Jen Caruso. They do have a freshman goalkeeper, Tora, Tori Viola. Um, so she will be a real test uh, for this boxer squad. And the Bishop Fee and Shamrocks also have a big contingent of veterans on their team headlined by the junior goalkeeper Shelby Hogan who was the starter in that playoff game last year. Should be an interesting game. We got the captains meeting with the referee at midfield right now and we'll be getting underway in just a few short moments. Brockton off to a good start. They do have a new head coach this year. Um, coach Tassinari uh, the coach of many years of this Brockton Boxer squad actually had a, a baby. We want to congratulate her, Olivia. And I saw a picture before the game. She's adorable. So uh, we do have a, a new head coach for Brockton. It's Edmir De Silva. So that will also be something to keep an eye on. And everything looking good for all the boxer sports this year. Uh, the boys just coming off of a draw with Norwell. The girls, we haven't seen any of them here at Marciano Stadium yet, uh, but they, they do have that strong contingent of veterans. And boxer football getting underway. The home opener Friday night against St. John's Prep. Always a good game. High school soccer comprised of two 40-minute halves. Official time is kept on the field at all times. So anytime I mention a time, it will be the unofficial time. Interesting note, we only see one referee on the field of play. I thought there had to be two. In all high school games I've seen in my many years here at BCA, we've always had two referees on the field, but we only see one. I don't know whether it's a last minute bathroom run or he's running late or what have you, but we only see one ref. I'd imagine it's quite hard to cover, give or take a hundred yards with just one one person. And I think that's what the holdup is here at Marciano Stadium. Is I think we're waiting for that second ref to make his appearance. Just looking down the, the sidelines here, I do see brand new athletic director, Peter Caruso, making his way over to the parking area. So maybe the referee is just pulling in now. Always an interesting way to start off the season. You can't start the game without both referees. have this moment we want to preemptively thank our crew for their efforts tonight on camera we got Patrick Lease, AJ Pima the one the only Mike the Postman Simmons as the second ref makes his way inside the gates 
and going across the, the track here at Marciano Stadium. And of course, we can't leave out our director, graphics man, audio, truck extraordinaire, Aaron T-Bone, T-Bow. And the one and only Newbie Rateau will be joining us. Well, now we have both refs. Teams taking the field and we should be underway in just a minute. The Brockton Box is wearing their home white uniforms with the red trim. And the Shamrocks of Bishop Bean wearing green uniforms with gold trim. Jen Caruso starting at midfield for the boxes. And it will be Brockton Ball to start the game. <coughs> Whistle blows. We are underway. Narita Montron takes it for Brockton. Gets it over to number 21, Maria Del Pico, who is a veteran of last year but she saw very limited playing time it kind of stepped up in that playoff game and towards the end of the season so she does have a little bit of experience as it will be a boxer thrown across the field Ari Sylvia fighting for it for the boxers and Bishop Bean comes away with it taken right back by the boxers and a turnover and it, this ball will be picked up by Tori Viola, the freshman goalkeeper for Brockton. She kicks it to just about midfield. A momentary lapse and we'll have an offsides whistle going against Bishop Feehan. So it'll be a free kick for the boxers at the 28 and a half yard line. Number four boots it, that would be Ariana Almeida, the senior defenseman. Now it's a foot race, Brockton will come away with it and boot it out of bounds. So it'll be a fee hand throw, hand, throw in right in front of the Brockton boxer bench. A borderline offsides, they didn't call it and Brockton tested right now. Fee with the opportunity trying to create some separation. The one-timer goes just a little bit wide and out of bounds will have a goal kick. <coughs> Number 13 for Brockton, Alexis Vallis, the sophomore defenseman to kick it long and deep for the boxers. Jen Caruso trying to create some separation for Brockton. Number 22 for Fian boots it out of bounds. It'll be a boxer throwing. And that was Maddie Jolin, the senior forward. Clara Andrade will throw it in for Brockton. That one will go out of bounds again. Let's take three on the throw-in. Nice heel kick by one of the Shamrocks, but we have a push, and Brockton will have a free kick from a little beyond midfield, and it's going to be taken by Ariana Alameda. She can sit long and deep trying to send someone in alone, unable to do so, and Shelby Hogan, the junior goaltender for Bishop Feehan picks it up with ease. Rita Montron trying to chase that down, unable to do so. So now Tiana Brooks, the junior defenseman, will throw it in from midfield. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium, this home opener for the Brockton Boxer girls soccer team. Keeper that should be a boxer throw, and it is. Yasmini Texera to throw it. Looking for Montron, doesn't connect, and Bishop Fian takes over. 
Little hold up in. Now Bishop Fian with an opportunity. It's two on zero. Oh. Number 20 brings it up. The shot and a good save by the freshman goalkeeper for Brockton. Number 20, Anissa Almedio, the sophomore forward for Feehan, was in alone and opted to shoot it. Didn't get too much on the shot, but a good test for Tori Viola, and she came up big for the boxers to keep this game scoreless just about five minutes in. So a momentary defensive lapse for Brockton. No harm, no foul. And this game is still scoreless. Cross to Montron. Montron makes a nice move to get around the defender. And the cross looking for Jen Crusoe doesn't connect. But Brockton picks up possession back. And she, the Brockton midfielder just kicked it out of bounds. Yeah, she had an opportunity to possibly create some offense there, but kicked it straight out of bounds, and that was number 24, Ari Silvia. Behan thrown right in front of the Brockton Boxers head coach. And Behan will have another throw in, just a little bit deeper into the Brockton zone. at the Armand Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. Beautiful night here as Tori Viola makes another save. Fian coming away with most of the opportunities early in this game. Some of the boxers are gonna have to correct if they hope to come away with a W here. Boxer throwing right in front of their own bench. Montron taps it looking for Crusoe, doesn't connect. Ball goes straight up and it's spinning. It goes straight up and we have a whistle. And I believe that was a push called on Rita Montron. So Fian with a free kick, it goes out of bounds and now they'll have a throw in. Behan beating the Boxers in that playoff matchup last year by a score of 5-2. to two. And Jen Caruso actually injured herself. I believe she was playing with a broken rib in that playoff matchup. Now Behan trying to chase it down before it goes out of bounds. Number 24, the Boxers steps up Tiana Brooks and gets it to go out of bounds. Behan throwing. Bishop Pian taking over. Number five has it now. That would be Casey Sharp. And another pickup by Tori Viola. And we have a penalty called on, I believe that's number six for Bishop Pian, Aaron Lynch. So the boxers will have a free kick it's going to go right out of bounds at just about midfield. Now Tiana Brooks to throw it in. Brockton not very sharp on their passing game thus far. And that might be a little bit of a communication issue where they're looking for people that, oh, Jed Caruso makes a beautiful move. Pass doesn't connect, unfortunately. A beautiful heel kick, spinorama type thing by Jen Caruso trying to create some space. And she was successful, but there was nobody on the other end. So it's not too much communication. It's another pass just goes long and beyond any boxer that might be in the area. Not too much communication on the field of play right now between either of the teams, really. And you can see that as the offense is a little bit sloppy. So 
about nine minutes in. Still scoreless here from Marciano Stadium. There's a couple of feet hand subs get ready to go in the game. Boxer defense clearing it out. Opportunity for Fian if they can create space. Brockton trying to get it out of the zone. But that communication, it's oh so important and the boxers aren't doing much as Narita Montron tries to streak up the sideline and one of the Feehan defenders gets there first. Now Montron to throw it in, looking for Caruso, trying to break. Caruso can't keep it in bounds. It is gonna be the refs are each pointing a different direction. It looks like it's gonna be a fee handball. It's gonna be a Bishop fee hand throwing on the far side of the field. Rockton's gotta get some offensive pressure here. I know just Last year in the playoffs, Feehan applies a lot of pressure, especially late in the games. And they're just in the feeling out period right now. So Brockton's gonna capitalize on any opportunities it might have early. And those Bishop Feehan subs do make their way onto the field of play. Shamrocks with the ball at midfield, and we're going to have not a regular offsides, but a super offsides called against the Bishop Feehan Shamrocks. It'll be a free kick taken by Ariana Almeida. At the 37 yard line on the football markings, anyway. Jen Caruso gets it over to another boxer. There's a push and there's the penalty whistle. So Feehan will have a free kick from a little inside their own zone. in with another opportunity. The shot, it's tapped by Tori Viola and she picks up the rebound. Excellent save by Tori Viola. Good to see the freshman goaltender for Brockton is not too faced by being a starter on this varsity squad. She's made a handful of incredible saves already in this matchup spin that the other way too and say that the Brockton defense needs to step up and not let so many shots on goal. Now Brockton with an opportunity, this is Jen Caruso, the shot, Jen Caruso scores! Top shelf left corner, Jen Caruso creates some space and scores the first goal at home here in this Brockton boxer season. And she did a lot of that last year for Brockton. The Caruso's a big soccer family here in Brockton. And Jen just found some space, capitalized on a momentary lapse by Bishop Fian, And the score is now Brockton one over Bishop Fian, And that's exactly what I was talking about. I think they heard me on the field talking about they have to capitalize on opportunities here early and often. Now Brockton playing with a little more gusto in their step. That goal certainly pumped some energy into Brockton. Jen Crusoe has it now at the 30 yard line. She makes a good move. And another shot and a diving save by Shelby Hogan. Brockton's got the momentum and the energy in their favor now. And the crowd into it 
a packed house here at Marciano Stadium. Crowd yelling, let's go boxers. And they lead the Shamrocks about 15 minutes into the first half. Narita Montron now kicks it high, trying to find Caruso on the far sideline. Doesn't connect, but the boxers should have a throw in. Oh, the refs rule that that is off of Brockton, so it'll be a Fian throw in. Is number 14, Michaela Robinson, the junior forward, substitutes. She goes in the game. Let's see who she's replacing here. That uh, is number eight, I believe. Nicole Fernandez, the junior forward, who looks a little bit winded and she was limping a little bit, favoring that left side. So we'll keep an eye on that. She is laying on the sideline right behind the two coaches, Edmir De Silva and Laborio Alfama for Brockton. Montron trying to kick that out of bounds, unable to do so. And an opportunity, but Yasmini Texera kicks it out of harm's way for Brockton as Tori Viola was charging out to pick that, uh, that ball up. Now Feek in with an opportunity if they can get there. We're joined now by the one, the only, Newbie Rateau. Newbie, the, I'm sorry, I apologize. The four time award-winning director, producer, we'll call him a videogra videographer extraordinaire, Nubi Rateau. And he is taking over on camera for us. We thank him for joining us. We got the whole whole crew back together. We got Mike Simmons, Nubi Rateau, Patrick Lees. We got everyone here. Have a Brockton, no, a Feehan throwing at midfield. Brockton making some fancy moves. Jen Crusoe now with some space over the middle. She kicks it up, trying to find Montron just a little bit too far. And Hogan picks it up for Feehan. Oh, and now that's on sides. Feehan has an open net. The shot and a goal by Bishop Feehan. Who got it? A defensive lapse by Brockton led to a breakaway and just a simple move for Feehan. Led to a goal, we're all tied up 1-1. That was number 21, Maddie Jolin, the senior forward, scoring that for Bishop Feehan. Tied up 1-1, one one. 22 minutes left. And this game just got very interesting. Brockton ball, Montron makes a fancy move. Number 24, Ari Silvius, sized up at midfield by the Feehan line. And now Brockton trying to create something. Jen Caruso streaking upfield. Doesn't connect before Hogan picks it up for Feehan. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a boxer throwing. Tron to Caruso. Caruso held up a bit. We're going to have a whistle and it's going to be ruled a grab by Jen Caruso. Feehan free kick. Now Yasmini Texero 
over to Sylvia. Sylvia lost it, tries to get it up to Caruso just a little bit too far. And it'll be a goal kick for Bishop Feehan. Hogan gets it long and deep across midfield. And it's offsides ruled against number 21, Maddie Jolin, the goal scorer for Fee and trying to do exactly what she just did. And score another goal. Brockton sending a lot of players upfield early in this game. And the, the defense is really paying for it. It's kind of a run and gun strategy by head coach Edmir De Silva. Behan throwing, doesn't connect, a little bit of push off, no whistle, a shot goes just high and wide. And it'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Number 11 to take the goal kick for Brockton. Fian takes over, Fian trying to create some momentum, but Brockton takes it right back. Sylvia up to Texera. Texera trying to create some space, unable to do so, the ball comes flying into the stands. About 10 yards away from Patrick Lease. Montron trying to create some space. Gets it over to number 17, Lara Andrade. Andrade loses possession. Pian trying to capitalize. And Ariana Almeida gets it out of trouble for Brockton. A lot of physical play thus far in the first half. A lot of bodies running into each other to create space. Now Brockton able to keep it inbounds. Maybe not the best decision, it's ruled on sides. And now Fian with an opportunity deep in the boxer zone. A good move, a shot, a cross, and a score! Number 11 for Bishop Fian. Emily Hogan, the junior forward, makes this a two to one game in favor of Bishop Feehan. 22 minutes into the first half. So now Feehan with two unanswered goals. Emily Hogan. Bishop Feehan goal by Emily Hogan. And we're gonna have a timeout called by Brockton. I'm sure head coach Edmir De Silva not happy about those two quick goals in a three minute span by Bishop Feehan. And Brockton calling a timeout, trying to settle their squad down, trying to stop the momentum of Bishop Feehan. Maybe even a strategic move by head coach De Silva. Maybe get some subs in, get some water into his troops. So two to one your score, Bishop Feehan leading over your Brockton Boxers. 17 minutes, 41 seconds left unofficially in the first half of play here in the girls soccer home opener here at Marciano Stadium. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Beautiful night here. The lights on here at Marciano Stadium. Wonderful sunny day. Not too warm, not too cold. 
perfect day for soccer. As the sun begins to set here in Brockton. Boxer ball at midfield. Feehan takes over. Feehan with a little bit of a different strategy coming out of that timeout. They've got four players deep on their defensive line with the fifth kind of floating. And Brockton still with only three players on their back line. So head coach De Silva not switching up that run and gun kind of strategy. Now Fian with an opportunity, this is number 30 streaking up the sideline. A good breakup by number seven for Brockton, Elizabeth Buckley. Brockton player is pushed, so we'll have a free kick. We have a whistle, it's gonna be in Illegal kick. So we'll try it again. V hand takes over. Number seven has it now. Te Tess Kulaz for the Shamrocks. She comes away with it, and it's going to be ruled off sides against Bishop V hand. Brockton escaping by about a blade of grass there. Very close to being on sides with 15 minutes left in half number one. Bishop Fian leading two to one. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports and home opener action for this Brockton Boxers girls squad. And Tori Viola again forced to make a save. Jen Crusoe pushed from behind, no call. Fian takes over. And a little bit of diving going on now. This game's getting a little bit chippy. As a couple of bodies have hit the turf in the last few moments. Jen Crusoe with a good move. Nobody on the receiving end, miscommunication yet again by Brockton. And just an overstep, but held up, and we're gonna have a whistle. That should be a free kick for Bishop Feehan. And we might even have a card. The referee running over to talk to It's gonna go against Bishop Feehan. That's a little bit surprising from my vantage point. I did see the boxer player hold up the fee hand player, but it doesn't matter now because one of the boxers pushed one of the fee hand players and now we have a, a free kick. The ref's trying to get a, a handle on the action here in the latter half of this first half. Be a free kick for fee hand. Brockton kind of bunching up around the ball. Not a lot of communication, I say it again, for Brockton. A little bit of a misstep, and that'll go out of bounds off of Feehan. The Feehan coach begging the referee for a deflection off of Brockton. No go, and Brockton comes away with a throw in. So 
so 2-1 still your score. Feehan leads the Brockton Boxers late in the first half. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. And we'll have Bishop Feehan throwing at just past midfield in the Brockton Boxer zone. That one's going to be kept in at least momentarily by Brockton before they kick it out of bounds at midfield. And the boxers said it before, I'll say it again, they're bunching up around the ball. They need to create space, they need to work on their passing game, and they need, they absolutely need to communicate. And they have not done that thus far in this game with 12 minutes remaining in the first half. Now Feehan with another opportunity. The cross doesn't connect, now number 17 has it. Laura Andrade for Brockton. She brings it up the sideline. She sends it up looking for Yasmini Texera. And it'll be chased down by one of the Shamrocks and kicked out of bounds before Texera can make too much out of it. So it'll be a Brockton boxer throwing deep in Shamrock territory. Good give and go. And Brockton, the shot off the top of the crossbar and over the net. So it'll be a goal kick. We have a Shamrock substitution number 19 coming in the game, replacing number 24. And that's Carly Knobloch replacing Taylor Poirier. Well, of goal kick. Brockton with a good opportunity right there. However, Feehan escaping with the lead. Three to Montron now. Over to Sylvia. Sylvia looking for number 20, Tiana Brooks, and she's got some space on the near sideline. She kicks it as she falls, and it'll go out of bounds. And we'll have a goal kick for Bishop Fian. Numerous subs, number 12, number 13, number 25, coming in for Brockton. That is Paige Silveria, Gabby Delos, and I think I saw Maddie Jolin enter the game. Goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Number 14, Katie McCarthy to send it in for Bishop Feehan. Jen Caruso using her speed, turning on the Jets to try to chase that down. And that should be a corner kick for Brockton. It will be. And it looks like Jen Caruso will be taking it. Caruso, the goal scorer for the Brockton Boxers. And on the other side, Emily Hogan and Maddie Jolin for the Feehan, the Feehan goal scorers. Tiana Brooks will put this one inbounds for Brockton. Del Pico puts a shot on net and an easy save by Shelby Hogan. Just under 10 minutes remaining in the first half. Two to one, your score, Bishop Fian over the Brockton Boxers. And Brockton's goaltender forced to come out of her net yet again and pick the ball up before Fian can make anything of it. and trying to control. Two players hit the ground, no whistle by the referees. And it's picked up by Viola. Rita Montron trying to chase it down. 
She does an excellent job of keeping it in bounds. That was on the line, but remember, in high school soccer, the ball must be completely over the line to be called out of bounds. As was the case right there. Number of the boys varsity team in attendance here at Marciano Stadium tonight, including starting goaltender Colin Fredericks. So good to see the Brockton High soccer teams supporting each other. BN makes some wholesale changes as McCarthy throws it inbounds for Feehan. Opportunity, Fian can create any space. The one-time shot picked up by Tori Viola. And Fian threatening with offensive pressure late. And they lead by a score of two to one. Right now, free kick for Brockton. Possession taken by Fian, a good move. And now Fian streaking up field. That's going to be ruled off sides against Bishop Feehan. And that was Aaron Lynch who was off sides for the Shamrocks. Ariana Almeida to send it long for the Boxers. Montron with a fancy move trying to make some space. Caruso can't corral the pass and it goes to Feehan. Number 16 with a good move, trying to find number six for the boxes, Zanny Silva. But the pass doesn't connect. Now Narita Montron switching from forward to midfield. And Brockton trying to, trying some long passes. Another opportunity for Fian. She's tripped up from behind. She's down. No whistle, but it is out of bounds off of Brockton, so it'll be a corner kick for Fian. And it looks as though we've got an injury on the field of play. The referee calling for a whistle to stop the clock as we have a Bishop Fian Shamrock down. And this is never a good sign. Trainer Jerry uh, Connors bringing out the cart. So we have a stoppage with five minutes, 18 seconds left in the first half. Bishop Fian leading two to one over the Brockton Boxers. We have a Bishop Fian player injured deep in the Brockton zone. And when we come back from the stoppage, Bishop Fian will have a corner kick trying to extend this lead. And the injury occurred, it was a kind of a slide tackle from behind and the legs just got kind of tangled and the Fian player went down hard. And the Brockton player also went down but she popped right back up. Unfortunately, not the same situation for the player for Bishop Feehan. Now, both teams, all the remaining players going over to their benches. And I believe that's number six, Aaron Lynch, the senior midfielder. That will be a big loss for Bishop Fian, and she is being helped onto the cart by a number of players as well as the trainer for Brockton High. 
And this is not a good sign for Bishop Feehan. And she looks not good at the moment as she's being carted off. And that is number six, Aaron Lynch, the senior midfielder and starter for Bishop Feehan. Not a good sign at all. So we hope she's okay and can get back into the game. And both, sides, both sides retake the field and we'll have a corner kick for Bishop Feehan with just over five minutes remaining. Puts it inbounds. Del Pico with the breakup. However, Feehan still has possession. Look at a one time it. No luck. And Montron able to come away with it. Now Brockton has some numbers upfield. Montron shooting it leap long and deep for Caruso. And it bounces out of bounds. It'll be a Feehan throw in. Behan trying to create some pressure and that one's just gonna dribble through all the defensemen and be picked up by Tori Viola. So Aaron Lynch still being attended to by Jerry Connors, her mother is now on the sidelines. And that is not a good sign for Bishop Feehan. Montron trying to send it deep for one of the forwards. And Shelby Hogan forced to come out and dive on top of the ball before Brockton can create an opportunity. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in the first half here. Bishop Fian leading two to one at the moment over the Brockton boxers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium for BCA Sports. Back and forth action, nobody has clear possession yet. Now Feehan's got it, now Brockton's got it, now Feehan's got it, but she can't crawl the pass. She could have put a quick shot in the back of the net if she could control the ball. But it goes out of bounds, it'll be a Feehan throwing along the far sideline. Boxers miscommunicating. Two players going for the ball from the same team as that one sent a little bit wide to the left. We'll have a goal kick with two minutes, 30 seconds left. Fian with an opportunity, it's gonna be whistled off sides as the clock ticks down to two minutes. Official time will be kept on the field. I'll do my best to estimate how much time is left. Fian trying to, they're, they're, they're really testing the referees uh, and their willingness to call off sides as there's been a handful of off sides already in this game as Fian trying to get behind the boxer defense. They have on one occasion, and that was one of the Feehan goals. 
Now we get a boxer corner kick. They have to capitalize right here. Brockton has to capitalize on this goal kick. The shot and Feehan clears it out of the zone with about a minute left in the first half. Be a boxer throw in about midway into the Shamrock zone. has it, I'd imagine there's about 45 seconds left in the first half. Behan trying to create an opportunity. Yasmini takes it, chases it out of bounds. Um, so Feehan will probably have the last opportunity of the half. Brockton takes over, referees looking at their watches. Goes out of bounds and it'll be a boxer throw in. Teixeira throws it in for Brockton with about 10 seconds left. One last opportunity for Bishop Fee and it's picked up by Tori Viola. She'll send it long and the whistles will blow. Any, any second now. Jen Crusoe trying to chase it down for Brockton unsuccessful. It'll be a boxer throw in. Out of bounds yet again. The ref's got the whistle in the mouth. As soon as it's put in bounds, I'm sure the whistle will blow. Inbounds by Feehan, picked up by Brockton, sent long, looking for Jen Caruso. Brockton with a late opportunity here. Caruso trying to create some space. The shot just high and wide. Brockton with a very, very, very late opportunity in this first half. And Jen Caruso just put it a little bit wide on the crossing attempt. Feehan escapes yet again. Two to one year score. Bishop Feehan in the lead over the Brockton Boxers for right now. Back and forth action. Nobody's got possession. Brockton picks it up. Narita Montron. Now Montron has it again for Brockton. And the whistle sounds to end the first half. So Brockton with the opening goal scored by Jen Caruso, but Bishop Feehan coming right back. Maddie Jolin scored the first one for Feehan and Emily Hogan scored the second one. A big injury to Bishop Feehan though is number six, Aaron Lynch, the senior midfielder, was helped off the field by Jerry Connors. We'll be right back here for second half action here between the Bishop Feehan Shamrocks and the Brockton Boxers, and we'll see you for the second half. Welcome back to second half action here between the Bishop Feehan Shamrocks and your Brockton Boxers. The Bishop Feehan Shamrocks right now lead by a score of two to one over Brockton, but suffering a big blow 
late in the first half. Number six, Erin Lynch, the senior midfielder. Looks like she rolled her ankle. She's got a ice pack on it now sitting on the bench. Uh, and she was down for a few minutes and was helped off the field by the trainer for Brockton. But the goal scores for both teams, first for Brockton, was number 22, Jen Caruso, the senior forward. And for the Shamrocks, it was Maddie Jolin, the senior forward, and Emily Hogan, the junior forward, to bring this game to where it is now. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium for this home opener of 2014 girls soccer for Brockton High. Fian with an opportunity, breaking the shot, good save. The rebound, a shot, and a goal! Bishop Fian striking early, just about two minutes into this second half, and a not so good situation as the freshman goaltender for Brockton is down. She might have got kicked in the head on that rebound shot. She slowly gets to her feet. And she looks to be okay, but a, a scary situation there for a moment. And Maddie Jolin adds her second goal of the game. As Feehan now leads by a score of three to one, just two minutes into this second half. And number 20, Tiana Brooks will replace number four, Ariana Almeida on defense. Tori Viola, the goaltender for Brockton, looks to be okay, which is a very good sign for this boxer squad. Jen Caruso with the ball now, looking for Narita Montrand. Brockton trying to get some short passing going. It'll be a Brockton throw in. Rita Montron trying to get it really quickly. Jen Caruso with some fancy footwork. But the Shamrocks take over as Maria Del Pico has it now for Brockton. Number seven has to chase it down, Elizabeth Buckley for Brocken. She kicks it out of bounds, it'll be a Shamrock throwing. Shamrock's controlling across midfield. We have a whistle and it'll be a free kick for Bishop Feehan. Tori Viola chases it down for Brockton and she will send it long for the boxers. Maria Del Pico takes a spill for Brockton but retains possession. Now Jen Caruso back to number 24, Ari Silvia. Five minutes in, three to one, your score in favor of the Shannon High School over the Brockton Boxers. We have a whistle and it'll be a free kick for Brockton 
at the just about the 25 yard line. So Brockton with an excellent opportunity here to capitalize. Narita Montron will take the kick for Brockton. She stops, pops, goes with a short pass as opposed to launching one on net. And Bishop Fian able to clear it out. And it'll be a boxer throw in. Here a little bit more communication on the field of play now. And a good job by Brockton's defenseman Elizabeth Buckley to send that out of bounds off of a Bishop Feehan player. Now Sylvia trying to create some space. She shoots it over to number 20. The pass doesn't connect. Feehan takes over. Body's flying everywhere. Uh, a couple of people hit the turf and Fian comes away with a free kick somehow. Now Fian with an opportunity, number five, puts it on net and a good grab by Tori Viola. The freshman goalkeeper for Brockton tested early and often in this game and it's a wonder she's only let three past her. Alexis Fallis throws it in for Brockton. Tiana Brooks kicks it out of bounds. Feehan throwing. Brockton comes away with possession. Yasmini Texera sends it all the way upfield. Lights on at Marciano Stadium as the sun is setting on this home opener. 32 minutes left in the second half. Three to one your score in favor of the Bishop Vian Shamrocks. Ismini Texera now has an opportunity Montron can't corral the pass and it's sent back to midfield by one of the Shamrocks. That's out of bounds. Number 20 had a good opportunity at Tanisia Medio, but she just couldn't keep the ball on the line and the refs whistle it down. Montron with a good keep in there for Brockton, now she's got it back again. Fox is trying to work the give and go, doesn't work. And that goes out of bounds off of number 17, Lara Andrade. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium for BCA Sports. Brockton looking long and deep, but Shelby Hogan picks it up for the Shamrocks and she sends it across midfield. Now Feehan trying to start a little bit of offense. It's taken away by one of the Brockton defensemen. Pico sends it out of bounds, it'll be, I guess that touched a Feehan defender, or a forward rather, so it'll be a Brockton throw in. As number 23, Nadia Cardoza, comes into the game to replace Lara Andrade. Narita Montron has it for the boxes, she's got some fancy footwork. 
Fia takes over. That went off of the feet hand defender's hand. It should have been whistled down. But the refs keep the whistles away. Now Fian with an opportunity, number five streaking up the sideline, the cross doesn't connect. Fian still threatening, Brockton able to clear it out of harm's way, but Fian still has an opportunity as they now find themselves with a throw in deep in the zone. We have a whistle. I believe they called a push off of Bishop Fian, so boxer free kick. Sent out of bounds by number five, Casey Sharp of the Shamrocks. and Bishop Fian's gonna make some substitutions. Good move by number 24, Ari Sylvia. Now Narita Montron comes up with it. She's looking for Jen Caruso, doesn't connect. Now Jen finds herself with the ball, the shot. Oh, what a save by Shelby Hogan. What a save, diving through the air and catching it was Shelby Hogan. Best save of the night. And probably other than the goal, best opportunity. Now Fian finds himself with a breakaway, however, the ball goes just a little bit too far and it's picked up by Tori Viola. Great back and forth action here at Marciano Stadium. Jen Caruso with an excellent shot. Now Narita Montron finds Caruso. Caruso working the the footwork. Now Narita Montron deep in the zone. Boxers pressuring here. Montron gets by a defender, crosses it. Uh, the initial save made by Hogan, but and Feehan able to clear it out of bounds. It'll be a boxer thrown. Brockton really stepping up their offensive pressure almost midway through this second half. Boxer free kick from the 40 yard line. Montron finds Sylvia. Sylvia over to number 23, who can't corral it, it goes out of bounds. Boxer throw in that is Nadia Cardozo. Those are trying to create something. It goes out of bounds off of Brockton, so it'll be a fee hand throw in.
Ariana Almeida finding herself back in the game. And she replaces number 13, Alexis Vallis. So Admir De Silva, a lot more substitutions in the second half, trying to keep the legs fresh on his players. Narita Montron with an opportunity now. Excellent job of keeping it in. And that bounces off of a defender. It'll be a Brockton throw in. Good keeping by Narita Montron. The cross, and it's broken up by a Shamrock defender. Another opportunity by Brockton. We have a whistle. It'll be a free kick for Brockton. Trying to catch the Shamrocks off guard. Doesn't really work out for Brockton. But they will have a throw in deep in Shamrock territory. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from opening night here at Marciano Stadium. Brockton Boxers trail the Bishop V and Shamrocks by a score of three to one. However, with the vast majority of chances, especially as of late, would be Brockton. Now it's gonna be a throw in. Jen Caruso takes it. And it goes out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick for the Shamrocks. Number 30 entering the game. That would be Sophie Tallarita, the senior midfielder. The goal kick by Hogan goes to about the 40 yard line. It's taken by Brockton and gives it right back to the Bishop and Shamrocks. As many takes error, kind of oversteps it a little bit. But now Brockton with an opportunity. Cross doesn't connect. Now Fian takes it the other way. Up and down the field we go here at Marciano Stadium. Whistle sounds, we're gonna have a free kick for Bishop Fian. We have a stoppage. The referee asking the Feehan player to move the ball back a little bit. Narita Montron comes away with it and she kicks it inbounds. Feehan threatening again about midway through this second half. Already leading three to one, trying to extend that. Good sign, we got word at halftime that the injury to Bishop Feehan, Erin Lynch, she had an ice pack on her ankle, so it looks like uh, she either rolled it but they just took the ice pack off, so hopefully it's all okay and she can re-enter this game. She did score two of the goals in the playoff matchup at the end of last season between these two teams. As we cross the halfway mark in the second half, Shamrocks still lead the boxers by a score of three to one. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Boxer corner kick right now. The kick, good save by Shelby Hogan. 
to keep this at a two goal game in favor of the Shamrocks. Big sports week here in Brockton as Monday night the Brockton boys team had a draw with Norwell. Tonight, of course, we've got the girls facing off against Bishop Vihan. Tomorrow night, we've got the Brockton boys playing at Marciano Stadium yet again. And Friday is the home opener for BHS football against St. John's Prep. So, very busy week for our BCA crew. We thank them once again. Montrand trying to create some magic. She creates some separation. Makes a good move. The shot goes a little wide. Another shot off the goal post. Hogan might have gotten a hand on it. Brockton coming within inches of closing the gap to one goal. And Shelby Hogan went off of her fingertips and hit the goal post making another excellent save to keep Feehan up by two goals. Good move now, Feehan with an opportunity. Number 11 has it, she makes a good move, Emily Hogan. She does have one of the goals and the cross does not work. So Brockton able to clear it out and it will be a Shamrock throw-in. Number 14 taking it, Katie McCarthy. Miscommunication there by Brockton trying to get it upfield. Fan with an opportunity, but number 21, Maddie Jolin, who has two of the Feehan goals, couldn't get a foot on it, and it's picked up by Tori Viola, the freshman goalkeeper for Brockton. Del Pico to Montron, goes out of bounds. It'll be a, a Feehan throw in. Boxer throwing number 13 will take it, Alexis Vallis. We haven't seen the flip yet tonight. The girls team last year famous for doing a front somersault double triple flip Lutz type thing when they threw the ball in bounds. We have not yet seen it tonight. Just about 15 minutes left in half number two. Bishop Bean still leads by a score of three to one over the Brockton Boxers. Now Narita Montron making some space. Kind of loses her step, but gets it right back. She's trying to fend, find Jen Caruso, unsuccessful. Now number seven, Elizabeth Buckley forced to clear the ball out of bounds at midfield.
Bishop Ian getting ready to make some wholesale changes in their lineup. That is number 13, Gabby Delos. Number five, Casey Sharp. Number 12, Paige Silveria. And I believe number seven, Tess Kulas getting ready to enter the game for Bishop Feehan. Inbounds straight into the hands of Shelby Hogan from Ariana Almeida, keeping this game at three to one. Good move by the Shamrock forward and it's gonna be an offsides call against Feehan. Seen a number of that tonight. Uh, Bishop Ian trying to get in behind the boxers defense before the ball does. Thus, the referees call it offsides. Proctor with it now, trying to clear it out of his own. They do just that. Rita Montra now on the sideline for Brockton. Jen Caruso. Trying to find a Pico, doesn't connect. Now, the other way, doesn't connect. Oh, what a save! What a diving save by Tori Viola, and she holds on. That's exactly the same way that Bishop Feehan's first goal came about. And we have another injury on the Bishop Feehan side of things. player gets up and she kind of doubled over. She might have gotten winded. She and Tori Viola kind of collided as Bishop Vian tried to score that goal. That is number 21, Maddie Jolin. So she already has two of the Feehan goals. We're hoping she's okay. And I believe we're going to have a timeout called by Bishop Feehan. No. So Maddie Jolin kind of shaken up on the play. But she looks to be okay. She's just having a quick chat with Jerry Connors. Got to hand it to freshman goaltender Tori Viola. She's done an excellent job, especially as a freshman on this varsity team. It can be kind of daunting at times. And she's done an excellent job, especially facing a strong Feehan team that eliminated the boxes from playoff contention last year. She's done an excellent job tonight, only allowing three goals. I want to once again thank our crew for tonight's festivities. In the truck, we got Aaron Tebow and the four-time award-winning director, producer, videographer, extraordinaire, documentarian extraordinaire. Newbie Rateau, the one and only. We're honored to have him in our presence tonight. We got Dr. Patrick Lease, President Dr. Patrick Lease, and we got Mike the Postman Simmons and AJ Pima. And I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the field here at Marciano Stadium. Bishop Feehan leading the Brockton Boxers on home opener night for this girls squad by a score of three to one with 11 minutes and 35 seconds left in the second half. Maddie Jolin on the bench right now. So that might have a little bit to do with the injury or 
head coach Phil Silva not wanting to re-aggravate anything. So Brockton really has the opportunity to capitalize here with two of Feehan's starters out due to injury. That would be Aaron Lynch and Maddie Jolin. Now Yasmini Texera makes a good move. She can't catch the ball. She gets it back. Montron now. Montron with some fancy footwork, finds some space. One of Brockton's plays tripped up, no whistle. And that goes out of bounds off of Bishop Fian. It'll be a boxer throw and Ariana Almeida will take it for Brockton. Now Sylvia gets it over to number six, Silva. We're going to have, it's a throw in by Narita Montron. There'll be another throw in for Narita Montron. We'll try it again. Clock tick, tick, ticks down to just about 10 minutes left. That goes out of bounds. It'll be another boxer throw in. This one taken by Ariana Sylvia. And she just sh completely shanks the one-time attempt. Wide to the right, we'll have a goal kick from Shelby Hogan as we have under 10 minutes to go in second half action here at Marciano Stadium. Number 19 getting a hearty round of applause as she exits the game, that is Carly Knobloch, the senior for the Bishop Fian Shamrocks. Montron with a stop and go approach. Uh, that is Jen Caruso. My apologies. Now Ariana Almeida. Fires it long on Shelby Hogan, who picks up the easy save. And she sends it back across midfield. Tori Viola forced to make another save. Fian trying to threaten again. Good job by number 20 to keep that inbounds. That is Anissa Medio. And that ball sails wide out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick. And it will be taken by number 13, Alexis Vallis. The sophomore defenseman. Montron now across midfield. Gets it to Caruso. Caruso spins, tries to get it back to Montron. Doesn't connect, but Brockton comes away with it. But Fian's def defense stands strong and clears it back across midfield. Just about seven minutes left. Brockton's got to score and they've got to do it quick. As she's mini text here, chases it down along the far sideline. And Feehan takes over, as we've seen many times tonight. Tori Viola picks it up again and she sends it. Just about to midfield. Rita Montron hit from behind. We'll have a whistle and a free kick. The 
Bishop Feehan with it now. They're just trying to waste out the clock. Goes out of bounds off Brockton and we will have some substitutions for Bishop Feehan, number 19 and number four. And that is Carly Knobloch and Taylor Faulkner re-entering the game. Replacing number 25 and 13, Kathleen Lovett. And we have a whistle and we have a boxer down. She pops back up that she's Mini Texera. Andrea Guidon also coming out of the game for the Shamrocks. And a good sign, Maddie Drolin back up on the sideline ready to re-enter the game. As Shelby Hogan makes another save. Maria Del Pico trying to chase it down for Brockton, she does. She tries to send it long, looking for Caruso, doesn't connect. And Hogan picks it up for the Shamrocks. Under five minutes to go here. Second half action between the Brockton Boxers and the Bishop Feehan Shamrocks. Three to one your score in favor of the Shamrocks. And Maddie Jolin has two of those goals. Maddie Jolin now re-entering the game for Bishop Fian. Good to see she's okay. She was a bit shaken up on a play not too long ago. Shelby Hogan sends it long and deep across midfield. Ariana Almeida has, has it for Brock and she kicks it out of bounds in front of the Feehan bench. Number 19 entering the game for Brock and that is Megan Mulholland. Almeida throws it in. Montrod got a little bit shaken up on that header. Doesn't look like it with the fancy moves. But Feehan, defense standing strong. Now Mulholland has it, she's tripped up. We're gonna have a free kick. This is Brockton's time. And now, now Brockton, Narita Montrond asking for the 10 yards allowed. Trying to create some space. And they're still not really 10 yards out. Sends it long and deep and an excellent save by Shelby Hogan. And there's a, Jen Caruso tried to jump and maybe get ahead on that ball to put it in the back of the net. She ended up in the net. Now Fian with another opportunity, but Brockton able to clear it out of bounds. That is number 12, Erica Santos. Corner kick for Bishop Fian now. And that goes wide, it'll be Brockton Boxer possession. With under two minutes to go, Bishop Fian still leading by a score of three to one. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Fian 
Behan with an opportunity here. This is number 11, Emily Hogan bringing it up. She's got to try to turn a corner. Stops, pops, crosses up two defenders, crosses the shot, a heel kick, and the feet hand forward didn't get as much on it as she would have maybe liked. And Tori Viola comes up with a big save with under two minutes remaining. Jen Caruso now. She gets tangled up, gets the ball back. Now Narita Montron looking for Caruso, but it goes out of bounds. We have stoppers. The referee saying something. I I missed what happened, but the referee going over to talk to both coaches. And a loud round of boos rain down from the crowd here at Marciano Stadium. We have a free kick for Bishop Fian, and they kick it straight out of bounds. Now Brockton screaming for the ball, knowing there's not much time left. And number 11, Emily Hogan streaking upfield. The cross, the shot, oh, what a save by Tori Viola. And she dives on it. What a game played by Tori Viola with just about 30 seconds left. And she inadvertently tried to send the ball across midfield and she hit one of her own defenders in the back of the head. And now we have a, a Feehan player down momentarily. She gets up, just a little bit of a trip up and a push. And that is Emily Hogan that just took that spill. And it'll be a Feehan free kick within the 20 yard line of the football marking. So Feehan threatening here. The shot off the football crossbar and resting comfortably on the top of the net. So there's going to be about 10 seconds left here. Ball sent inbounds. Sariana Almeida has it. Now Sylvia over to Montron. Montron with a good move when it goes out of bounds. Stopped by Admir De Silva, the coach of the Brockton Boxers. Almeida over to Montron. Montron can't corral the pass and it goes right back to Bishop Feehan. Refs look ready to blow the whistle. The whistle sounds, and this game is final. The final score from Marciano Stadium, three to one in favor of the Bishop Feehan Shamrocks over your Brockton Boxers on the home opener for this girls squad. The goal scorers for Brockton, Jen Caruso had the lone goal, and for Bishop Feehan, Maddie Jolin, the senior forward, had two goals, and junior forward, Emily Hogan, had the other goal for Bishop Feehan. So a good game played by both sides, a little bit sloppy, a little bit of miscommunication happening for Brockton. We'll look for them to work on that. We'll be right back here tomorrow night for Brockton boys action. And for everyone here at BCA Sports, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We'll see you next time.